Thomas stretch, extended top knee. So in the Thomas stretch with the extended top knee, just like flexed top knee Thomas stretch, you'll have your client start sitting on the far end of the table, sitting short on the end of the table, and then go ahead and uh, lie back. Good, so you want their femur still hanging off the end of the table so you have a few inches between the table and their actual knee. So then with the Thomas stretch with the extended top knee, now you're going to keep the top leg in an extended position here. So we're going to be stretching the hamstring as well as the rectus femoris, hip flexor complex, uh, primarily on this side. We're going to place the foot on the inside of the client's lower leg and the knee on the outside so that we can control the positioning of the femur. Going to bring the client in. Okay, and then you're going to tell the client, hey, on a one to 10 scale, um, you're going to feel some stretch in this hamstring, also in this rectus femoris and hip flexor complex area. So tell me on a one to 10 scale, how much stretch you feel on this side and how much stretch you feel on this side. Okay, five and five now? Okay, so she feels five and five. And that's about perfect. That's about exactly where you want your client. On a hamstring stretch, you can go up to around a six. On a hip flexor stretch, five, five and a half is about the max that you'd want to be. So she's right at the position that she'd want to be. And so if we're just holding for a passive uh, static stretch, we would just use this position here. But of course, you could apply other methods as well. And that's the Thomas stretch with extended top knee.